Hi there everyone, I, I am Andrade and I'm going to show all of you how to make a RPG style game top down looking. In this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to make a smart movement engine. So let's start it. First create an object an object player. That will be our player obvious. And we'll make some sprites for him. And here I'm going to choose a standing sprite for him. That's the first sprite up here. And this is standing sprite. What I wanted to do is put uh, zero here. All directions of him stop it. Don't make four sprites for that. We only need one, okay? And very important too, the origin, I wanted to put it right in, in the same part of the player. In never sprite, because when it changes, will not look you know horrible and the mask that's very important to to make a 3d top down looking put manual and then that will be the mask for our object every time that's the only part that will collide and interact with the world and the game then I wanted to make a sprite of him running in every direction one sprite for every direction if you want make a shadow too oh okay never forget of modifying the origin and attacking sprites that we will see in the other tutorial how to make link attack I have these sprites here because I don't want to make a sprite right now so let's go to the object in the events we're gonna make two create and step the create event means that it will be the code will be used only when the the stance is created and the step that will be updated every step and third steps mean one second okay that's very important for you in the future I want you to go in control right here and put a code Oh, what happened? Okay, so in the create event in this code, we're gonna put some variables. The variables, as the name means, are variables. You can name what you want. I'm going to make two for helping the moving and helping in the attack. Oh, let's put attack. That don't have functions yet, but we'll have. We'll put okay now we have some variables in the step event let's god let's make the movement movement okay first off we're going to put some action some function for the variables and until that I'm going to show you some functions of the game maker the keyboard check we're going to use it here we put a key that is the code is read only when we using the key you know pressing when it's pressing and here we put the key if you want to put a letter you put order parentheses and the letter right here that's the way for reading letters and for reading keys like the arrows we have a lot of keys here right I knew it to use up re here the arrow up we're going to use to the if if means if so this will, will be used only when it's checked already if it's checked it happens we're going to use the y y is the vertical negative negative in the Y vertical means up and plus means down in the X X is horizontal the the right means positive the negative means left so here we're going to put his speed as 3 so when up is checked he's going to up initial step he is going to negative 3 Y's subtract and we're going to put a sprite index 
SPR player run up sprite index will change when it's checked here and move equals one we close it now I have a code here very good I'm going to use for all directions I want to make it very fast here okay now we've done here the keys for the movement but it will change move equals one forever and we don't want that we want move equals one I'm gonna put this right here remember that is we make it how we want I will want zero for stop it and one for running same as attack zero not attacking one attacking that's how I work in game maker let's go again so when he's running move go to one but when it goes to zero that's very easy when he if his X is equal the previous X so he didn't move a new result and this mean and the Y is equal the previous Y so he didn't change the coordinate because here we're using the coordinate movement what going to happen move equals zero uh, observation we don't need to do that I just do it for beautiful <laughs> So okay, let's put some functions in this movement. We only made this change, but not. Oh, let's change. Let's put here. If move equals zero, the image speed will be zero. But not only it. If let's take it here when we stop walking in our sprite is the player running up the image index will be changed to zero yeah right at y zero let's take a look in the standard sprite zero means up as you can see one right two down and three left that is the image index of the sprite and that we have here when he stop the sprite will stop the, the movement there will not be rotating like we saw there and it will change to the zero when move change to one to zero sorry we'll do that for all directions okay now we close it you're right now but we didn't end we didn't change the sprite for the standing player so sprite oops sprite index will be SPR player stand okay that's very that's pretty beautiful right now and a function for the move equals one move if if move equals one what going to happen well the image speed right now what we need is to be one so when it's moving when we're pressing the key move go to one and when move go to one the image speed goes to one that means 100 percent so all the speed you see in the animation when the step right here is 30 so one second will be the same speed he, he runs right here Okay, one, one, one hundred percent. All right. I think we over here. Yeah, you could just copy that and don't use it here. Just pass it, past in all of this. But will be a lot of stuff, a lot of coding will be embarrassing. Oh, uh, right here in this mask, we're going to use. We want a only mask for every every action in your player so we're gonna use the stand as I show here we modify it to look like a 3d the origin in the foot and 
a sprite for rain changing we're okay with the sprites now let's create our room you go to settings here you can modify some things like scale and name I'm going to put tutorial creation code only when the room is created it will run the code persistent well the room will never change objects let's put our object viewings enable visible here is the scale of the view I'm gonna put half and this is off the screen the window I'm going to put the same the object player will be follow let's put a max number here to this really follows the player everywhere I'll put some grass as it looks okay it's pretty beautiful now let me see something here windows graphics okay we can resize the window so let's run please works look it's pretty beautiful right now so we have a very smart movement engine and the only thing that left is the collision what I want to do in the collision I can put object wall in that object wall I'm going to use link to yes the only thing we need right here is put solid yeah it's very simple like that solid and I don't want it to be rotating like it's here so I'm going to put in the step let's put in the step event image speed equal zero image index equal to that is the down all right now oh, of course to the 3d looking we have to use some that codes here that equal negative y use that that will look 3d very cool movement I'll put this here that equal negative y this is very cool now we can play I'll put the wall oh, it's already in the wall a very beautiful wall and for the collision we're going to step in the movement we're going to AD some things here we're going to put an end here and place free oops place free that will check if the place is free so don't have a solid thing in the way here we put the X and the Y is that I don't remember let's close the parentheses uh, is that is that in the up we'll put negative 3 right you check 3 coordinates above right we see here I'm going to use it here I hate to do that that's very boring but it works very well so this cold is look only happen when these two functions here are checked well now it's really perfect I'll go and put some another wall here to looks better well it's too big the grid is too big go and put it closer now we will see some nice stuff very nice stuff oh well, we gotta get some like look now it's a perfect very perfect moving the sprite change is all okay and the 3d thing is all okay too and we don't bug it no glitches that's the best way to do a movement is on coding it's perfect now it looks polished so when you're doing some better collisions and moving time you gotta do right this I think that's the better way don't use these things right here it looks simple but it's very annoying to do code is very easy so hope you guys enjoyed and the next part I'm going to show you how to make attacking things thanks for watching